Okay, I just want to do a quick video to show you how to uh, run a subsequence within a sequence. So let's just pick, um, let's say, blurred lines here and open that up. And what I've done here is um, I'll take, I have three channels here that say unused. So I'm going to pick one of those. I'm going to call it the CCRs. And. Uh, and change the color here. And instead of the device type being a Lightorama controller, you're going to tell it that it's going to be a sequence instead. And then down here in the sequence, it's asking you where is that sequence. So I would go in here and see where I put it. Blurred lines CC or see, yeah, it's the blurred lines dot underline sub, the bigger one here. Okay open it and hit OK. So now this knows that it's going to run this sequence but in order for it to work you need to choose this row right click select the row and turn it on for the entire sequence otherwise it won't come on. And in using the CCNRs the my orange roof line garage uh, these ones right here I don't use, so I actually select these rows and I hit, I turn them off. So now those, because the CCRs are taking the place of these. And that's it. I, I would now save this. Instead of saving it, uh, I'll do save as. Instead of saving it as blurred lines, I'll do it blurred lines for underline. CCRs. Now I know this is the version that has the CCRs in it. And that's all you do. Um, also some people have asked about changing the um, the channels, the channel numbers in here. If you go to tools and channel configuration, here's all your channels here. Uh, the Lyrama controllers and unit network. So from right here you can change the unit and the circuit numbers of the entire sequence um, in this one spot. You can even see here the CCRs is running as a sequence, not a controller. And here's the sequence. So it's a quick and easy way without clicking on all these one by one over here. You can open up the channel configuration and you can change them right in here. And that's it for my tutorial today. Thanks for watching.